हेलो किड्स वेलकम बैक टू अदित्य किड्स एजुकेशन यू हैव लर्न अबाउट टीथ एंड इट्स टाइम इन द अर्लियर वीडियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टीथ सो ओके टेल मी फर्स्ट इफ यू लुक एट योर टीथ इन मिरर देन व्हाट यू सी यू कैन सी ओनली सम पार्ट ऑफ द टीथ दैट इज विजिबल टू यू एंड सम पार्ट्स of the teeth lies inside the gums that you can't see okay so a tooth has three main parts and they are crown that is the uppermost part of the teeth neck that is next to the crown and it lies between crown and root third one is root that is bottom most part of our tooth So first we will talk about crown. Crown is a part of teeth that is visible to us. Neck it lies between crown and roots and roots the root lies inside the gum and hold in its position. So next is layer of a teeth. A tooth has three main layers that is enamel dentine and pulp let us have a look on them in detail one by one so first is enamel the outer part of the tooth with the white layer is enamel and you can easily see it it is the hardest substance in our body and it protects the tooth from wear and tear Next is dentine it is softer than enamel it is below the enamel and it is yellow bone like layer that supports the enamel and protect the inner pulp now we will talk about pulp the pulp is the innermost part which contains nerves and blood vessels it is much softer than then time even then enamel next is okay so gums what is gums the pink colored gums hold the teeth tightly at their place and if the unhealthy gums cause bleeding and pain and ultimately fall of teeth so now what we have learned yet we will see here in the diagram that is first see in the left side of the teeth that is crown which is the topmost or yeah, uppermost part of the teeth next is neck that lies between crown and root and the bottom most part is root okay so now see in the right hand side can you see the white color portion white layer that is enamel next to this is dentine which is softer than enamel and next to that is a gum that holds the teeth tightly and next is pulp and which contains nerves and blood vessels okay now see here it is many teeth and they have a brush in their hands it means they say please take care of a teeth so now what happens when we eat something then the food particles the small food particles sometimes stuck between our teeth gaps and these stuck food gets spoiled and forms cavities due to the presence of bacteria and germs if and we need to clean the spoiled food out otherwise germs can grow more and form sticky yellow layer called plaque understand okay next is now see in the picture can you see this yellow layer this is known as plaque and plaque is the first sign 
to say that the teeth is starting to decay. Next is cavity. Cavities are small holes caused by a buildup of bacteria and acid on the tooth surface. See in the picture of teeth and you can see small holes, brown color holes that is cavities. And if cavity is not treated then it reaches to the nerves in the pulp and causes tooth ache. Tooth decay cause bad breath and bleeding gums also. So next is yes steps to protect our teeth. Teeth are one of the most important gift of the nature to human beings. We should take care of them and should follow some steps given below. They are brush your teeth at least twice a day that is in the morning and before bed. Avoid eating too much of chocolates, sweets and soft drinks. If you do it, then rinse your mouth after every meal. Next, chewing fruits and salads improve blood flows to the gums. So, we should include fruits and raw vegetables in our diet. Visit your dentist regularly for the checkup of your teeth. Okay. So now we will see the role of food for healthy teeth and gums. So what are the roles? How do the food helps in keep the teeth healthy and gums? Okay, so first is our teeth are made up of calcium and phosphorus. Okay, so the food items rich in calcium and phosphorus helps in the formation of healthy teeth and gums. Now let's see what are the some food items that are rich in calcium. They are milk, almonds, lady fingers and broccoli. Now see the food items that are rich in phosphorus. Bananas, onions, almonds, avocado and walnut. If you take these foods that are rich in Calcium and phosphorus, your teeth will be and gums will become healthy. So, this was all about teeth. I think from now, you will take care of your teeth more. So, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In the upcoming video, we will see what are microbes. That is bacteria, virus, fungi, protozoa. How they are useful and harmful. Okay. So, we continue with my channel. Okay. Bye kids.